I love the work I do. I'm Megan Edge, master healer, author, and educator, and I'm really excited to be able to share with you some of the ways in which I do my work. Mirror scrying is really interesting too. When you, um, it's a technique that we use sometimes in past life regression. So you stare at yourself in the mirror, you let your gaze soften, and then you allow other faces that you've had to come through your reflection. Yeah, I know, it's really powerful. And you can do it without a mirror. You can stare at somebody else's face and do the same exercise and see their past life faces come through. I did that once almost accidentally with my former husband. He was sitting in the bath and I was sitting on the edge of the bathtub and he was talking and I felt myself slip into, oh, I, something's coming, something's happening. So I just let him talk and I just stared at him. And first I saw this very thwar swarthy, swarthy, uh, I don't know, like classic pirate bad guy face come through and he was mean and his eyes were so hard. And it was, I actually pulled back because the face was so different than his normal face. And then, then I thought, then I asked, I thought or I asked or something, maybe it just flowed. Um, okay, show me another. And then I saw this baby Buddha face, like round, round oriental man's face with, with very much those features and soft and jolly and giggling. And it was such a difference, you know, such a dichotomy between the two experiences. So after that, I started practicing with that technique with clients and friends and so forth to try to hone it in. And it's really interesting when you start to see somebody different, like different features coming through <laughs> on someone's face that you thought you recognized and knew. Thank you for watching my workshops and my talks. It's my passion to share with you what I know and believe. We have lots of laughs, sometimes tears. We're always learning and growing. I look forward to hearing from you and staying connected. Enjoy this amazing day.